Welcome to Bosch's technical support on demand video series. An installation two minute drill, power over ethernet basics. PoE uses two twisted pairs in any standard CAT5, CAT5E, or CAT6 RJ45 ethernet cable to supply DC power to PoE enabled devices. Power over ethernet is subject to the same distance limitations as standard network cable runs. PoE devices should not be located more than 100 meters or 328 feet from their power source. When choosing a switch for your installation, you must be aware of the fact that there are two PoE specifications. The first of which is 802.3 AF. This defines that 15.4 watts of DC power is supplied to a device. Most non-PTZ cameras are 802.3 AF devices. Our second IEEE specification is 802.3 AT, or PoE+. This defines that 30 watts of power will be supplied to any PoE device connected to the switch. This is also backward compatible with 802.3 AF. PoE+, Plus is typically needed when working with motorized devices such as PTZ cameras. If performing an installation on a network that has older Cisco devices, these devices may have been designed for telephony only. Older Cisco devices use Cisco proprietary Cisco inline power. It only supplies 7 watts, only applicable on a 10 100 network, and is incompatible with all non-Cisco devices that accept PoE. These devices may also be capable of Cisco's enhanced PoE. This does not replace or compete with PoE Plus that we discussed earlier. Newer Cisco devices such as the 3750 and the 3560 support 802.3 AT. Most switches on the market today communicate to PoE devices via a protocol known as LLDP-MED or Link Layer Data Protocol Media Endpoint Discovery. This protocol allows the switch to provide automated power management. In some instances, you may need to enable LLDP on a per port basis and on some switches you may have to manually specify the amount of power that the switch port should supply. When dealing with PoE, there are five power levels or classes available. Most CCTV cameras are class 2. From a troubleshooting standpoint, this is important. If you are dealing with devices that do not identify themselves to a switch with the proper class, the switch will default them to class 0. This can cause issues on a switch fully populated with PoE devices. If you have calculated that all devices attached to the switch should receive 7 watts, and in actuality they are receiving 15.4, you will quickly run out of power resources. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you.